Basically, our first phase of our guard is sitting. The first phase that we have here is, is our, probably our, our most deadly is because we work the, the wrestle up a whole lot. What happens is, is when a passer is really, really aggressive and they start working us to our back, this is where we start to run into problems. Okay, so we're gonna look at this in terms of phases of guard retention. So from right here, main thing to remember is, is their job is to work from foot to knee to hip, ultimately to head control. They want to get inside of right here. So the key here is, is the tighter we keep our knees to our chest, the easier it's gonna to be to prevent them from getting into this area right here. And a lot of times we forget, when we start playing guard and we start working on stretching them out, we lose track of that rule and we start getting long and then they start kind of cutting us open and get into chest to chest. When we get to a position where we feel threatened, we have to recoil, okay? So this is a position of, we're not really trying to be offensive. We're not into an offensive set here. We have not moved into the gear set of being offensive. We're totally defensive in nature right here. So my legs have to play in here kind of close. Now, in terms of what grips are acceptable, they're always gonna have that access to your ankles or to your pants. They're always gonna have access to that, all right? It's not a problem as long as if they start trying to pull the, pull the legs and throw them to the side, we don't let this happen. This is where we get past. So the first thing that we're gonna do right here today for guard retention is we're going to go disengaged, okay? Foot is inside the, the, the arms. We're not gonna lock down any grip right now. I'll tell you exactly what we're doing with the feet here. Float your feet, kind of touch them inside the arms, and then I want you to lock over the tops of the knees. He's gonna try a, tori a Toriando series where he's gonna try to throw by. He's gonna throw your legs by to either side. Your job is to not let the legs get extended. So he's gonna sit here, he's gonna work left to right, and he's gonna to try to throw by the legs. And he's looking for this to happen. As he does a throw by, he's looking for that. Okay, so what we have to do here as a drill is we have to be sensitive to these hands and which side that he's throwing it. Now this gets to be kind of, kind of technical because we don't know exactly from his stance which side he's gonna to go to. So both legs have to have tension at the hip. Now when you leave here tonight, I'm gonna to tell you where you're gonna be, where you're gonna be sore, right here. This is where you're gonna be sore tonight, all right? So from here, when we're in defensive mode, hands are up, he's already got a grip at our leg, at our, at our pant. We cannot allow the grip to go past the tip of the knee. It's okay to be down here. Now I'm not saying that we wanna let him just have it, but this is gonna be a grip that's very hard to defend to keep him from hitting. You will break this grip out and he will be able to circle right back and eventually get right back to that foot grip. So you're gonna to have to get used to operating coiled up and, and be able to keep your knees to your chest as best as possible. This first drill here, he's just gonna grab. Feet are gonna be up. Now, I want hand, we're gonna work from hands outside right now where we have the assistance of our forearms to help us retain our guard. The feet can float either high or low as long as we're sort of bracing against the tip of the knee here. So he can throw the legs by any direction that he wants to, okay? Notice that I'm kind of catching all these different places that he's moving, all right? He can move any direction that he wants. He's just gonna keep playing with this. Are you allowed Notice. to catch his shoulder with your hands? Huh? So you're allowed to catch his shoulder with your hands? Sure, but, okay. but notice when he's doing this, my hands are kind of staying right here and kind of working in to this position here, all right? I'm still staying around my knees. He can steer me whichever way he wants, but my knees have to stay up. Close. Okay. Remember, don't get long. Now, you guys that are trying to do this drill, try to do a throw by and actually extend their legs out. At one point, step back and really try to rip their legs open and see if you can do it. If he can open your legs up, go. want to stay okay the question becomes where do you want to keep your target ideally you want to dominate the middle space meaning you want to own with your feet this spot cut his arms off you want to be in this this area right here throat right out here that's where you want to keep your your feet in that box you want to keep your guard in this box right here okay um so 
Some of us have, have a bad habit of dropping our feet. It's, it's normal, it's part of it, okay? So what I mean by this is, as soon as we experience a throw by, so I'm here, I'm completely defensive. We experience a throw by, and I put my foot down to scoop my hip away, thinking that I'm gonna do what? I'm gonna go back inside. Bad, bad habit, right? Because here's what happens. He does a throw by and I put this foot down, look how I get opened up. This is the problem. Okay, so any type of a Toriando, and what I mean by throw by, is a, is a Toriando for all intents and purposes. So if I'm here, okay, and I turn and I get to here, I've cut an angle and I've gotten up by his head. This is the angle that I want. This is a, a good passing angle for me. I cannot afford, if I'm him, to put my foot down to start to shrimp out because look how it opens everything up. Once this opens up and he scoots his hips away, boom, now you get the hip switch, now he's inside, he completes the pass. We have to come up with a way to ride ourselves where we're not dropping the foot. Because when we drop the foot, we are, in, in fact, getting long. All right? So Toriando slash throw by. I experience it, boom, there it is. I keep everything coiled. Now the question becomes, as he cuts this angle, how do I fix this? Okay, my hand is here, all right? First thing that I'm gonna do is this foot is gonna come around and it's gonna go over the top. I'm gonna push off of him and I'm gonna right myself. Okay, so now we're gonna get Toriando drill. He's gonna throw by, boom. Leg's gonna come down the middle and we're gonna, re we're gonna readjust. There's my block, boom. There's my recovery, boom. So foot is gonna weave around and block the shoulder. Pushing, lifting the hips, bottom knee pumps back through. Close, okay, here we go, one, two, three. 